Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have spent the last two days learning about the executive branch and specifically what the president's jobs are. Now I would like to look at the White House, which is the building that represents the executive branch and the home of the president. So let's read this book first, and then tomorrow we'll dive in a little bit more. This is called The White House, and it's written by Mary Lynn Firestone and illustrated by Matthew Thomas Skeens. My name is Kanisha. I'm a White House Secret Service agent. I'm here to show you the most famous house in the country, the home and office of the President of the United States, the White House. The White House is an important symbol of leadership and democracy. It is where some of the most important decisions about the United States are made. The White House welcomes about 1,000 visitors every day. A new home in a new city. George Washington picked the place for the White House in 1790. He chose a wooded area near the Potomac River. The White House was part of a large project to build a city for the United States government. That city became known as Washington, D.C. Who designed it? The president's house had to be special. A contest was held to see who had the best design. An Irishman named James Hoban won. His building looked a lot like Langster House, a government building in Dublin, Ireland. The first name for the White House was the president's house. It was later named the Executive Mansion. In 1901, President Theodore Roosevelt officially changed its name to the White House. The first family moves in. The first president to live in the White House was John Adams, who was the second president of the United States. He moved in with his family in 1800, but the White House wasn't finished yet. There were no water pipes. The rooms had no heat. There was no place to dry the family's laundry. President Adams' wife, Abigail, had to hang clothes on ropes in the East Room. The first president of the United States, George Washington, never lived in the White House. He was the only president who didn't live there. Wartime in the White House. President James Madison and his wife, Dolly, moved into the White House in 1809. Sadly, during the War of 1812, the British burned the building. Only the outside walls, wartime and the White House. President James Madison and his wife Dolly moved into the White House in 1809. Sadly, during the War of 1812, the British burned the building. Only the outside walls survived the fire. After the war ended, the US government rebuilt the White House on the site of the ruins. In 1817, the new president, James Monroe moved in. Growing pains. Over the years, the White House changed many times and in many different ways. The United States was growing and so was the president's staff. The White House workers needed more space, more rooms, more floors. The East Wing and the West Wing were added to the building. President Theodore Roosevelt and his family moved into the White House in 1901. They brought along all sorts of pets, including a parrot, a snake, and a pony named Algonquin, who actually rode in the White House elevator. Not sure if they had a cat, though, but as you can tell, I have a cat who's sitting right here next to me and being a little bit obnoxious. So I apologize for both of my cats and their meowing at each other. The Oval Office. The Oval Office is the president's office. The egg-shaped room was finished in 1909 when William Howard Taft was president. Every president since then has redecorated the office to suit his or her tastes. The Oval Office is in the West Wing, along with the cabinet room and the situation room. The West Wing is not open to visitors. The original Oval Office was destroyed by fire in 1929. Workers built a new Oval Office in 1934 for President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. His office is the one that's used by today's president. 
the second floor. The president and his or her family live on the second floor of the White House. This is also where the president's guests sleep when they spend the night. Overnight guests might sleep in the Rose Room or the Lincoln Bedroom. President Abraham Lincoln never used the Lincoln bedroom as a bedroom. When he was president, the room was his office. The room didn't become a bedroom until 1902, 37 years after Lincoln's death. Now for the colored rooms. The White House is full of color. The red room, the blue room, and the green room are rooms where the president meets foreign leaders and other important guests. The ground floor corridor. Corridors are hallways. They lead from one part of the White House to another. From the ground floor corridor, visitors can peek into the oval-shaped diplomatic reception room. This is where the president welcomes ambassadors, kings, and queens. The state dining room. The president and the first lady or the first gentleman have din dinner parties in the state dining room. As many as 140 guests can eat here at the same time. I hope you enjoyed learning about the White House. If you'd like to come see us, call or write a congressman or congresswoman from your state. He or she may be able to send you tickets for a White House tour. Here are some White House facts. The original White House took eight years to build and cost about $230,000. The White House is made of white painted sandstone. sandstone. It takes 570 gallons of paint to cover the outside walls of the White House. Did you know that the White House is much bigger than it looks? A lot of it is below ground or hidden by trees. It has six stories, 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, eight staircases, 132 rooms and 35 bathrooms. And here are some of the really fun things, and we're going to look more at this tomorrow. It has a tennis court, a bowling lane, a movie theater, a jogging track, and a swimming pool. Isn't that cool? So tomorrow we're going to get a closer look at the White House and some of those cool features that you might not even realize are there. You know the president works there. You know he has his office there. But did you know he can go bowling too? We'll find out more tomorrow.